Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome to another Black Ops 2 Best Class video. And in this video, we're going to be focusing on the Best Knife Only class. So, right, that's the introduction out of the way. Now let's bring down the board for our Pick 10 loadout. So, right, just before we get into this class loadout, I just want to talk a bit about this game. So I'm playing some solo kill confirmed on the map slums. And I've got to say that by far one of the easiest game modes to play when going knife only is definitely kill confirmed. As uh, you seem to cover a lot of ground when uh, going knife only and picking up all those extra tags and stuff really help in uh, getting those score streaks. And it's the score streaks and being able to see where the enemy is and stuff that uh, allow you to plan out your route and uh, can really help you in staying alive. And it's a game mode that I've had a lot of success with and uh, I can't recommend it enough. So right, let's get into this class. So for my primary, I have the combat knife. Now I know this doesn't count towards the pick 10, but I just thought it's a massive part of this class that I couldn't really leave it out. And only that for illustration purposes as well, it allows me to talk a bit about it. So the combat knife in Black Ops 2. Now this has been nerfed so much compared to other Call of Duties. And some of the noticeable ones is the lunge that has been completely removed now. You literally have to be on their body in order to get the knife kill. And even then sometimes it seems to go straight through them. And another thing that I noticed quite a lot is the actual lunge animation as well. Like you can be right close to them, you'll do the knife animation where it'll go into their body and then pull it back out again and then they'll still be alive and from the couple of hours that I've been playing that happened far too much for comfort but anyway I guess that's one of the troubles of going knife only but anyway so that's the combat knife and now we're on to my next slot which is the lethal and that is taken up by two combat axes now I know technically a combat axe isn't a knife but it's just the modern warfare equivalent of you throw a knife and they've just changed it up for the black ops titles be it the tomahawk in black ops 1 or in this case it's the combat axe so why they work so well and are pretty much very crucial in a knife only class is because it's your one thing to kill the enemy at range and it's kind of like a sniper bullet you've got one chance to try and kill him and I guess in my case that's why I've got two of them so I've got two chances to try and kill him at range and if you miss then the chances are that the enemy is going to get enough bullets into you to bring you down so the way I tend to use them is I like chuck it at medium range and then if I get the kill then uh, you pee but if I don't get the kill then I'm not too close enough that I can't back away and I can just run around take another route and try and flank them and get the kill that way. So that's my primary and my lethal and now we're on to my tactical which is taken up by two concussion grenades. Now I would actually prefer two concussion grenades than two combat axes and the main reason is because I chuck these at every choke point, um, every corner and if I get a hit marker then it just allows me that valuable seconds just to go around the corner and assess the situation. Like if there's one guy there then he's stopped dead in his tracks I can chuck my combat axe at him or I can go up to a knife him if he's back turned to me and let's say I chuck a stun and there's three guys there then it allows me just to back off and just take a different route and uh, maybe run around and flank him and get the kill that way. So that's the way I like to use the concussion grenades and now we're on to my perks and my first perk is light Wait. Now when using a knife only class you're kind of hindered in many ways but uh, one of the main factors that you should build your class around is speed and agility as uh, that's going to allow you to cover more ground and get into those flanking positions which is going to make it much more easy to kill the opponent and not only that it makes you a lot harder to hit as well if you can move fast enough then uh, hopefully they can just get around that corner to get away from them to uh, hopefully fight another day. So that's lightweight and now on to my second perk which is taken up by scavenger. Now uh, this is kind of a no brainer as 40% uh, of my class is taken up by things that can be replenished so uh, not having scavenger would be making things pretty hard on myself and having uh, continuous concussion grenades is just uh, bloody awesome. I chuck them everywhere and why not I get them back. <laughs> so right that's scavenger and now on to my final set of perks which is dexterity and extreme conditioning. Now I'll talk about extreme conditioning first and just having those longer sprint durations just stands you above other players because everyone can have lightweight but it's very few people that will have lightweight and extreme conditioning together. So you can definitely outrun other players, you can move around the map a lot faster, you can get into those flank routes and uh, start going to work. So right, now we're on to dexterity. Now I think this is one of the most underrated perks in a knife only class and I've actually swapped out fast hands in order to have dexterity. And one of the main reasons was because I was finding that it wasn't really about how fast I was throwing the combat axe, it was how accurate I was. And even without fast hands I wasn't noticing any really loss of gunfights or in this case knife fights. Uh, I can see if he was playing maybe like ground war where there's multiple enemies in a row where having uh, fast hands can help you. But no, for kill confirmed I was finding that it was generally like two people where I'd probably stun them both, then I'd knife the first one, then tomahawk the second and it was just like a nice thing that was working out for me and I didn't run into any problems without using fast hands. So right, what's so good about dexterity? Well, dexterity kind of does three things and one of those things is obviously shoot faster after sprinting which really doesn't apply to us. If we had the ballistic knife in this knife only class then it would help us in that way but uh, it's the two other things that it does which really helps us. And now one of those things is it allows us to climb ladders and mantle objects faster and when it came to maps like standoff, raid and meltdown maps where there tend to be a lot of obstacles to get into those sniper rooms to take them out and just being able to have free reign of the whole map on the ground and being able to climb up stuff as well was just amazing and being able to get all the snipers got me uh, quite a few kills. 
But the last thing that Dexterity does, and not many people know about it, is it actually allows you to recover from melee a lot faster, which obviously in a knife only class is uh, invaluable. So that's why I like to use Dexterity, and as I said before, if you do feel like you're getting maybe like outgunned, that you can't get your combat axe out fast enough, then uh, do use Fast Hands and see if it works out better for you. So right, the last two slots are taken up by Wild Cards, so I've got two Lethals, so I need Danger Close, and I've got two third tier perks as well, so I need Perk 3 Greed. And that is it guys, the class is complete, and this is what I think is the best knife only class, and I really hope this class works well for you as it has done for me. And if you liked the video and you think this class is going to help you out, then uh, don't forget to leave a like and maybe a favourite if you enjoyed it. And maybe there's a best class video that I haven't done yet that you want me to do, um, don't forget to check the best class playlist to see which ones I haven't done, and leave in the comments which one you want to see next, because we've only got a couple of more before Call of Duty Ghosts is released. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.